in the last video. We were able to set up this definite integral using the shell or the hollow cylinder method in order to figure out the volume of this solid of revolution. And so now let's just evaluate this thing. And really the main thing we have to do here is just multiply what we have here out. So multiply this expression out. So this is going to be equal to, I'll take the 2 pi out of the integral, 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 1. See, 2 times square root of x is 2. I'll write it as 2 square roots of x, but I'll write it as 2x to the 1 half. It'll make it a little bit easier to take the antiderivative conceptually, or at least in our brain. So 2 times square root of x is 2x to the 1 half. 2 times negative x squared is negative 2x squared. And then we have negative x times the square root of x. Well, that's x to the first times x to the 1 half. That's going to be negative x to the 3 halves power. And then we have negative x times negative x squared. That's going to be positive x to the third power. And all of that dx. And so now we're ready to take the antiderivative. So this is going to be equal to 2 pi times the antiderivative of all of this business evaluated at 1 and at 0. So the antiderivative of 2 times x to the 1 half is going to be 2, it's going to be, let's see, we're going to take x to the 3 halves times 2 thirds. So it's going to be 4 thirds x to the 3 halves. And then for this term right over here, it's going to be negative 2 thirds x to the third. Negative 2 thirds x to the third. And you can take the derivative here to verify that you actually do get this. And then right over here, let's see, if we increment this, you get x to the 5 halves. And so we're going to want to multiply by 2 fifths. So minus, let me do this in another color. Let's say, so this one right over here, it's going to be minus 2 fifths, minus 2 fifths x to the 5 halves power. Let me, yep, that works out. And then finally, you're going to have x to the fourth over 4, plus, let me do that in a different color, plus x to the fourth, plus x to the fourth over 4. That's this term right over here. And now we just have to evaluate it 1 and 0. And 0, luckily, all of these terms end up being 0. So that, that's nice and cancels out. And so we are just left with, we're just lower, it doesn't cancel out. It just evaluates to 0. So this is just 2 pi times when you evaluate all of this business at 1. So that's going to be 4 thirds minus 2 thirds minus 2 thirds minus 2 fifths, minus 2 fifths, plus 1 fourth, plus 1 fourth. And the least common multiple right over here looks like 60. So we're going to want to put all of this over denominator of 60. So it's going to be 2 pi times all of this business over denominator of 60. And 4 thirds is the same thing as 80 over 60. Negative 2 thirds is the same thing as negative 40 over 60. Negative 2 fifths is the same thing as negative 24 over 60. And then 1 fourth is the same thing as 15 over 60. So this is equal to, and actually this will cancel over here, and you just get a 30 in your denominator. So in your denominator, you get a 30. And up here, 80 minus 40 is 40. 40 minus 24 gets us to 16. 16 plus 15 is 31. So we get 31 times pi over 30 for the volume of the figure right over there.